was just your regular high school student playing volleyball, basketball, and track and field. And my cousin, Ryan Davenport, who's a two-time world champion and sled builder, he suggested that I try skeleton. So I tried it and really liked it. I like to go fast on quads, snowmobiles, horses. Growing up on a ranch, you're always going pretty fast. And um, immediately, I, I took to the sport. Three months later, I won the Canadian championship. So that's what sparked my Olympic dream. say with skeleton I've never had a perfect run and I'm going into my 19th competitive season on the World Cup stage and just bettering by a hundredth of a second or every little inch or one pound in the weight room just always measuring that against yourself having that competition within yourself that's what keeps driving me to be better and I don't feel I've reached my full potential and the goal is to be reaching that potential in Sochi. Skeleton's an individual sport, and um, I know that any of my results to this date, I, I couldn't have done it alone. So when I'm standing up there, yes, I am alone. It is just me and my sled, but I do feel the energy and, and the support of all my loved ones and my coaches and my teammates and our support staff, and I think that's what helps me stay focused and committed to this entire journey. Olympics occur every four years, but there's a World Cup season every year and a World Championships. I chose a different way to come into Sochi in 2014 than what I did in, in Vancouver for, for 2010. Uh, I needed a little more balance. I chose to, to rodeo and, and work on the mental game in just a, a different environment. And it's amazing how many different parallels there are between the two sports of barrel racing and skeleton. But this season, this summer, I've, I've been very focused here every day with the team, building. The, the priority is training, therapy, rest. Then, if all that gets done, I'm allowed to go and ride my horse. far into the game, 19 years in this journey, there's 146 days left of it. And yes, of course, when I, I didn't reach my potential in Vancouver of standing on that Olympic podium at a home Olympics, I was disappointed and committed immediately to Sochi. And so that's the goal, to get back on that Olympic podium. But, you know, it, with only a few short days, I've been able to step aside and enjoy every day because I do realize that this is coming to an end and I'm making a transition into the next part of, of my life. So uh, I definitely am putting it all out there and there's not going to be any regrets or what ifs when uh, we come to a close here in 146 days. My name is Melissa Hollingsworth. I love to go fast. I love competition.